Okay, this is the setup that I found works a lot better than the other one because whenever you unwind these these things and then wind them back up, they get kinks in the line. So I don't want that. So I'm just going to show you how I'm doing it as one shot, welding the stuff on and tarring, putting the tar on the rest of it. I'm sending the pipe down. I'm just going to uh, solder these on as we send them down. Because it's easier to do it this way. Basically, just want enough solder to keep it from moving, and that's pretty much it. Just hold it in place, and then I'll uh, put on the tar and send it on down the pipe, and then I'm going to lower it down into the hole. I'm just using roofing tar. I'm going to let that cool down a little bit too, and I'm going to tar a section. Then I'll lower it down, and I'll probably pause the video, and the next time I'll show you is when we, we bury it. We're also sending a garden hose down along with it, and the garden hose is basically there to, to pack the soil once we get it all the way down to the bottom. You can tell at the same time that hose is going to go down. Basically, I'm just coating it until I can't see copper anymore. That'll protect the copper from all the soils and whatnot. at least three feet up the pipe here so that I have to do this as few times as possible. All right, that's pretty well coated. So I'm take my gloves off. As you can see I got a little bit on my thumb there. It's not too bad but it will come off. Being real careful not to touch the tar just unwind my, my pipe and send her down the hole. Along with the along with my my garden hose. 100 foot garden hose, so I should not hit the bottom of the didn't hit the bottom of the garden hose before I hit the bottom of this hole.
Okay, we don't want to get too deep because I'm going to have to do the next one. And I'm going to attach two more spacers, weld those on, send it again, keep sending my hose. And the next thing I'll show you is how to bury it. Now I'm going to show a little bit of the filling the hole. And basically, all I'm doing is I've got this hose, which goes down the entire length, which is 77 feet. And the pipes, which I've done, which I just got done tarring and putting spacers in. The first spacer is four foot under, so you can't see it. Um, but now I'm just going to fill the hole, fill it up with water to make it mud at the bottom. And as I'm pulling the hose out, I'm putting dirt in. And uh, that's essentially all I'm going to do uh, because I've got opsoil around the, the copper pipe. Now we got three three holes already dug. That one's already done, and that one's already done. And I'm just going to do this one, and then uh, we'll move on. Once I get uh, all the holes dug, I'm going to tie all the copper tubing in a manifold and show you how that uh, those manifolds are set up to, to go to the compressor. And uh, that'll be on probably the next video. Okay. I wanted to show you this. There's water going on right now and it's filling the hole as I'm dumping dirt down in there. Trying to keep the rocks out of it. Now as I go down, I want to start uh, Making sure all the dirt goes to the bottom. The way I'm doing that, get about four shovelfuls in there. Just taking this hose until everything falls down. You can tell every time I jiggle it, more of the dirt falls. The whole time I'm squirting water on it too. And I'm trying to make sure that I'm also at the bottom and I'm not burying my hose. Now eventually it's going to fill up with water, so i got to kind of move fast with the dirt. Okay, that's probably enough until everything hits the bottom. want the hose kind of loose. I'll keep doing that till it's full, which is going to take quite a while. <laughs> 